Torres. Here you go, Arch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again <coughs> to the fun show here at Big TV. This is the January 27th edition of the fun show. <coughs> and I need my cough button. Um, we, uh, we have our full uh, compliment again uh, tonight. So around the table to my left is Susan Harrington. I'm Arch O'Reilly. Next to me is Kira Miner. And sitting behind the Kira keyboard is Michael Salen. It's in cello <laughs> mode, by the way. That's, that's Cello mode. It's in cello mode. I'm like, what's going on there? I don't know if we did that on purpose. Let's see. Let's see if you guys can hear it. Sounds like a cello. Okay. It's um what's, trying something new apparently. Yeah. What's my what's my cello friend? Um Yo Yo Ma? No. Yo Yo, yeah. yeah. <coughs> what's have I told my Yo Yo Ma story out know, here before? Share again. I don't think so. <coughs> I'm in demo mode. This is hysterical. We're partying here, guys. On, uh, there we go. On the first day yeah. that flights resumed after 9-11, yeah. yeah, okay. my daughter was returning to Berlin, and we had to get there literally three hours before the flight. And there were long lines snaking through Logan Airport. Mm -hmm. And in the line next to us yeah. was my friend Yo-Yo Ma. Okay. And on his back, strapped to his back, was his cello. Yeah. And he was a couple of people ahead of me, so we got up to the counter before we did. But we were close enough that I could hear that he was arranging for a first-class seat to Europe for his cello. Good. So I said to him, Yo-Yo, you buy a first-class seat for his cello? And he replied, why not, Arch? It's worth more than their plane. <laughs> Touche, Yo-Yo. And I always, I always, I always like that line. You know. Very good. <clears throat> Is he gonna sit next to it? Huh? Is he gonna sit? He next sits to next to it. Oh, yeah. absolutely, okay. he sits right. next to it. Okay. It's okay. worth more than the plane. I'd I didn't ask which one of them got the window seat. <laughs> <laughs> the cello got the window seat because it would need to be protected on the inside between him and everybody else. Sure. Oh, so, and, logically. Enjoy the, enjoy the mood. Yes. Um, what are we thinking about what's going on with the, uh, the, the business with the, the Democrats and the Republicans? What's, what's our views on that? Are we happy with, with the way well, course, the Democrats have, have presented this side of it? Oh, well, yeah, they did a wonderful, yes. spectacular job. And, and now mm -hmm. the, um, the impotus is uh, literally threatening uh, Adam Schiff on emails, you know. Yeah. He hasn't paid the price yet, you know. He's trying to gear up his thug supporters. Yep. Um, and, and I don't know, look at the list of people. If I was on trial, I would not want to go into a court with any one of these sleaze bags that he has as his defenders. Nope. Ken Starr, you know, <laughs> who's already oh in the encyclopedia yeah. under the word sleaze ball. And Dershowitz is, <laughs> you know? Dershowitz is no better. And, as as and, and what's his name? He the, gives Harvard a bad name. Oh, he, what's his a, name? Dershowitz. Dershowitz. Yeah. Dershowitz, who is on the record taking the exact opposite position, yeah. you know? And they just play his, the recordings of his yeah. taking the exact opposite position. That's all right, that's good. Um, I mean, I, it reminds me of um, um, William Kunstler. <laughs> Do you remember William Kunstler? I Kunstler? remember William Kunstler. You, it sounds attorney, familiar, though. Do you though. remember William Kunstler? It sounds familiar. In the 70s, in yeah. the, you know, anti-war movement and, and weathermen and uh, Chicago 7 and et cetera, mm -hmm. the go-to um, defense attorney for radicals was a tall guy with a shock of crazy wild gray hair by the name of William Kunstler. And... The thing is, it seemed to me to be suicide to be defended by William Kunstler because he was proudly on the record as saying, I wouldn't waste my time defending anyone who was innocent. 
Alrighty then, okay. Um, okay. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'd like you to meet my defense attorney, yeah. Yeah. Um, William Kunstler. And believe me, I'm innocent. Yeah, right. And I mean, that's, that's, Got it. that's who Trump has come up with, you know, yeah. the modern equivalents of William Kunstler's. But we should know by now that every single person who is admitted to walk in to the White House these days is a pathological liar. Otherwise, they're not admitted in. Yeah, I'm inclined you know? to agree with you. You know, so it's unfortunate it's that all, things are like that right it's, now. It's it's all very sad, but um, there's two things. There's still a few Republicans out there with it with that mysterious ounce of integrity. You know, I've said on this show before that if you but they had down the ones there, like uh, the one from uh, where was she from from. Uh, Up north. Susan? You're not talking Susan. Collins. 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 She has no integrity at all. No, that's not, what I'm saying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give her the... Mulkowski apparently might have a bit, but um, Romney has now come out basically saying he's voting for witnesses. Romney. Now, it's nice to know that he has a Massachusetts connection. And... Uh, wait a second, I started to say, I've said on this show before that if you boiled down the entire Republican Party, you couldn't get an ounce of integrity out of the entire group. Pretty, pretty tough. But now we got Charlie, our good Republican governor, um, who is a really good Democratic governor, in fact. <laughs> our good Republican governor, it's okay. who, who is trying to do something about global warming and, and air quality and things like that. And... And he wanted to make a regional coalition to to reduce emissions. And you know who's opposing him tooth and nail? The other two New England Republican governors. Nice. You know, I, they must have behind closed doors said, hey, Charlie, did you forget you're a Republican? You're not meant to care anything but gas prices, you know. Gas prices are going down four cents this coming week. Um, a gallon. Really? You yeah. gonna fill up? You gonna fill up the tank? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah. You, you you've been driving much lately? Sir? No, I haven't been. I no. Haven't, I haven't Cars been just sitting in the parking lot. That's what it's doing. All right. Um. Well, let's take a <laughs> let's take a break break at this moment, and have okay. Kira report on who died who was not named Kobe Bryant this okay. yes. period of time. And we are very sad for Kobe and his we family. We are sad for Kobe and particularly for his daughter yeah. and his family. And 41 is a terribly young age. Yes. But at the same time, Trump is, um, is totally screwing the Palestinians um, and nobody's reporting on it. You know? well, the His they, peace plan turns out... They said they wouldn't vote for it anyway. A carte blanche before they started for, for... So we went from Kobe being dead to talking about Trump. And it then. knocks him off the... Knocks, okay. knocks Meaning, it off okay. the news. Necrology, please. Okay. <laughs> we have Jim Lair, um, 85, from PBS. Lear, sorry. PBS, PBS, yes. PBS, what did the he do? The face of PBS. He was face the host. Face of PBS. The Lear... Leah McNeil Report. Lear McNeil Report and a lot of other things. Um, Jim Lear actually moderated more presidential debates than anyone else in okay. this country. A very, very distinguished journalist of the first order. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we have Marsha Kramer, who passed away at 74. She was an actress in Modern Family. Yes, Modern Family, a very interesting oh. show. What, ca what okay. character was she? I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah I, I should know that too. <laughs> we lost Terry Jones at seventy-seven. He was um, was. It says Monty Python, but I don't know if that was in created. He was one of those group. One of the yes, groups. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he, and he okay. he was yeah. a big writer. I think he did Life of Brian. Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, he was he, he was, was one of them that always dressed up like you know he he, he was big in one of the uh, in the. Um, Cross dressing, you okay. Know. <laughs> even when ah, you know what I mean, you gotcha. know what I mean. Wink, wink, yes. nudge, nudge. Yeah, yeah, even when he brought it, it mainstream, wasn't necessarily called for. <laughs> yeah, yes. they, they didn't got know. it. Um, um, so then we lost. There's no oh. reason, Terry. There's no reason for this character to be wearing a dress. That's Shut up! Right. I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> That's right. Um, we lost George Herbert Walker, 88. Um, something first cousin and fine. What? Gold? He's the first, first cousin, cousin of George Herbert Walker Bush. Bush. 
Oh, 42nd gotcha. president, okay. 42nd president yeah, of the United States. Yeah, successful guy. Um, he was his first cousin. He yeah. was another Yale, Harvard Law School, and has spent his entire life as a financier and surprisingly most of his life spent in St. Louis, Missouri. All right. But it is, You're like stomping that. grounds. It is interesting that, that, you know, it helps people remember that, that George One's name was George Herbert Walker Bush. <laughs> we get to go down George Bush memory lane. Thanks. Yeah. Um, and then finally, we've lost Rocky Johnson, age 75. He was a wrestling champ. The Rock's father. That's right. Yes. You, you know Dwayne the oh, Rock Johnson. Poor Dwayne. You he know? must be sad right now. Um, Rocky Johnson, his father was a wrestler. That's how he got into it. Okay. And his father, in fact, was the first ever African-American wrestling champion mm. in, in the major leagues of, of wrestling. Excellent. So, so The Rock is, took after his father. Okay. I like The Rock. He's one, you know, I didn't, yeah. I always thought him kind of as a meathead type role for most things, but as time has gone by, He's got a charming way about him. I think, but, you know, I think a lot of that, you know, that was just like an act. Because exactly. That's what yeah. Exactly. You know, in, in give, them what, give them what they give the public what they want. Yeah, right. or you expecting. Know. You yeah. Know, look your part. Intellectual doesn't play well in the wrestling no. ring. No. You know, um, which reminds me one time I had a couple of beers oh. with a very, very interesting wrestler from the old days. Yeah. Andre the Giant. Oh, okay. I remember him. Andre nice. Now, was this pre Princess Bride or post Princess Bride? Pre Princess Bride. Okay. Pre Princess Bride. Yes, that was. It was nice he got to do that. Big time. It was like one was of the like last things. Seven things. three. Or yeah, something. it was like he one was of the last things he did was Princess Bride, wasn't yeah. it? Before yeah. he passed. So. Not, not that anyone's interested, but Susan Jeffers, a, a book illustrator, she she did some beautiful work. She won the Caldecott. She passed. How old she, was she? It, I, I think she was seven. She ago. illustrated um, Tolkien. Mm. And Tolkin. She, and she did a, um, I think she was. Well done. That was a good goal. The, the Hobbit and, and Look at him showing off his skills. She did the co cover art for. Uh, I think she won for, her, her, her Newbery was for, for uh, a version of the, uh, Nutcracker. I oh, think. I'm not cool. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. There seems to be a lot of trouble now uh, between pe these people who are the leaders, the Democrats. Uh, you mean the Democrats fighting against Warren versus... Uh, oh, uh, Bernie. Bernie, the That business. was a good one. Well, you know, just for the record, you misspoke if you said between Democrats and then and then included Bernie. Because let's He's remember, a socialist, Bernie no, isn't no. a Democrat. No. And it's coming out more and more. But yeah. he, he's trying to play the game as long as he can. Well, you know, it's, yeah. a, it's an interesting thing because... Um, the first two big caucus and then primary states are Iowa and New Hampshire, oh, right? Iowa and New Hampshire are 87% white Europeans, and they are so unrepresentative of the United States. <laughs> Neither state has a city over 250,000 people in it. They have no urban population. They have essentially no minority population. And no yet perspective. they are driving the early uh, part of this thing. If, if we ever get to the point where we can worry about um, our political system again, at the moment we're just trying to save the Constitution. Yes. Yep. But if, if we manage to get this animal out of the White House and his, his um, enablers out of the Congress, we really, at the very least, should have a system where we rotate the primaries mm. so that oh, we yeah. have some place like South Carolina that actually has a population. And interestingly enough, Nevada, which is now like 27% Hispanic, you know, but the two most unrepresentative states in the entire country have been given this undue power in Iowa and yeah. New Hampshire. Sorry, New Hampshire, our neighbor. Ah, that sounds like a Maynard than a New Hampshire in. But a lot of people are saying, okay, let them vote how they want to vote, and we'll decide what we want to decide. Is that pretty much how it goes anyway? 
Well, it's it's been closer. Well, but the problem is what will happen, and you will see it, is whoever does particularly well in Iowa will drive several other people out of the race, and whoever does well in New Hampshire will willow the race down to maybe three, four max, and I will guarantee you right now that none of them will be minorities. <laughs> you know? Agreed. I, I don't and it's going that. to be affected by two states that are 87 percent, not only white, but white Europeans. Mm. You know, it's 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 a problem. Anyway, so Bernie is apparently doing quite well in Iowa at the moment. Okay. Um, on See. the other hand, there is an incredible flood of endorsements Elizabeth Warren. for Elizabeth. Elizabeth Warren. At the moment. She has my endorsement. <laughs> she always has. I've been waiting to see when she would gain the right momentum. And picking a fight with Bernie seems to have been the, uh, well, we still got the a, shift. Well, we got a year to go We still. do, but you know what? Somebody's got to make an impression. Someone's got to well, say, no, we no I... We no longer have a year to go. We have... Ten months. Uh, we have like two months till Super Tuesday. So you know, that's a big that's a big deal, right? I mean, that's us narrowing it down. So two months is what she needs to do. I mean, to traditionally, traditionally, the primary race will be over by then. However, it may not be true this time because people are sitting in there. But you know, the thing is, I television is loaded with ads, and, and oh. almost every single ad that's on there is from some billionaire amateur and what yeah. have we gotten well, when we've elected billionaire amateurs well, wait a minute though would you say mike is an amateur i don't think he's an amateur. well um no it, the fact is he's actually held a significant office yeah right and so he is the exception but obviously not failing it obviously steyer is an amateur. Yeah. This um, Andrew Yang is a rich amateur. Um, and, and, and good. And and after Trump, we should never <laughs> elect a rich amateur again. <clears throat> and, and, we we, we, and, and we probably won't. Exactly. We didn't. We didn't the first time. Very good. Well, yeah. It, <laughs> it, it, to quote Bill Clinton. It depends what the meaning of elect is. <laughs> yep. Sad. The whole thing. Disheartening. So, um, you got the then, wrong this, then this, 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 what? what's her name? Kobachar? Is that the one? Yeah. Kl we, we, we need to talk about who this. Is, who is now suing Hillary Clinton? That's just for publicity. Oh. She's not going to. No, and that's Tulsi Gabbard, right? Yes, Tulsi. Tulsi. This woman does not realize that that's she withdrew from this race the day she refused to vote to impeach Trump. She's yeah. no longer in this race. Exactly. Anyway, they it's say. It's not going to go anywhere. They say she's a wacko. It's not going anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're all um, concerned out. in the news about coronavirus. Oh. oh, boy. All right. Yeah. Coming from China. And interestingly enough, we were reminded that this happened right at the peak travel si s uh, season for Chinese China. folks. For the New Year? Because it's the Chinese New Year. Yeah. And they have now basically sheltered yeah. in place 50 million people. Shut down the city, shut down the businesses, yeah. told people don't leave home, no travel. 50 million people. That's like the cabin fever. Wow. Which is like New York and Los Angeles and Chicago they uh, said, they said combined. We, we hey. need two new hospitals. Are they going to talk about building a hospital in six Ten days? Ten days. Oh. Oh, six? Well, I saw something Ten that days said six days. Yeah. And then another one right behind it in 15 or something. Yeah. I believe it. I mean, I believe it. There was this piece of land, and they must have had thirty-five, you know, power shovels on this thing scraping away. I mean, away. when you think about it, if they're going to pour concrete and whatever and whatever, yeah. whatever, how sturdy is that stuff going to be when it hasn't had a chance well, to settle? It's not Why don't in China? They, wouldn't it be kind of desperate? Why don't they just put up tents and beds for heaven's yeah. sake? Or do they expect this coronavirus to be around forever? 
after this. Actually, one American company is already working on a vaccine, which is pretty amazing to, Interesting. to, to think on the thing. But um, where is it coming from? Where are they saying that the coronavirus is originating? Hunan, where are they thinking? Hunan, I think Hunan. But like City. what is there some other co greater cause? There is a story here that claims that it's coming from snakes. Yeah. Hmm. You know, we we referred to the bird flu. Yeah. Shall we start referring to this as the, the snake flu. flu? Yep, the snake, the snake flu. flu. Maybe. Anyway, we're not in particular danger over here because uh, I I heard something today that uh, there are a number of people who came out of that region who are not necessarily reporting their conditions. Right. Um, there's a family in Malden that, a family of five. Had been there. Mm -hmm. And um, there's, they were supposedly sequestered in their home, but nobody believes them. No. Nobody knows quite who they are. Um, True. And people are like, somebody's got to tell. Like, it's, it, it feels wrong to a lot of people that people would just go home and pretend that this isn't happening. And there's happening. a 50% chance that that's an urban legend. No, nope, that was an actual, somebody told me that today, relaying a story from someone she knew, like, it, it actually, from me, it came from what I would consider a reliable source. Okay, it's also a pretty good definition of an urban legend. Agree, <laughs> agree. I, 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 somebody told me that somebody told yes, them. Yes, nope, <laughs> fair enough. But you know what, if I could name names, then the story would go better, but I can't be like, Oh, so so and so well, told me this. Then right? we'd have to move over to BZ or right? something. Right. So <laughs> you, could do that. you know. But Michael, anyway. what have you done in the last couple of weeks? What have I done? I've been very unhappy about what's going on. Yeah. The, the, the position, could you bring yourself to watch any of this? Yeah, I have. I have. Yeah. I have watched a lot of. Good for it. you. Good for you. And I'm. I am. Uh, Don't you think Schiff did a wonderful job? Absolutely. The rhetoric yeah. was good, was solid, understandable. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, uh, and, and we, I, I might as well say it, we as Democrats, we take the position that uh, Trump and company doesn't, doesn't, is not able to admit any kind of, of, uh, Wrongdoing, wrongdoing or, or criminal activities. He, he refuses that. Okay. He can't even accept a typo. No, no, he, can't. <laughs> he keeps he saying, "I'll tell her, I'll online. testify, I'll testify." And he, yeah, please, please okay. let him testify. So, so we we present at the beginning. We presented people that came up and testified. We presented people that came up with papers and read these things that they we had. And then comes the other side, uh, and it's it's childish. They present no facts. They present nobody. And, and wait it's a pathetic. minute. And the only thing they do is keep saying he's innocent, he's innocent, and you guys are lying and lying. And they also constantly say, I'm not going to review the facts, and then don't mention any facts of course, whatsoever. Of course. You know? They contend, and then they, you know, then they say, "Well, you know, this crucial testimony is missing." But of course, we don't want it to come in. Of course not. But they constantly are attacking the Democratic case, saying that they didn't hear from the witnesses they should have. Uh huh. Mm. If you're guilty and you know it, you obstruct. If you're guilty and you know it, you obstruct. If you're guilty and you know it, and the evidence will show it, if you're guilty and you know it, you obstruct. <laughs> TV, 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 well done. T the TV ads I don't like. I, they repeat over and over again after supper, Medicare, all these things that people... Medicare isn't advertising. That's the point. No. And these other companies are telling people... They're, they're, oh, you mean Plan B and Plan C and yeah, all that but stuff? Yeah, even, even, but without looking at that, they're saying, call up and find out what you're owed. That's a rotten way to <laughs> you do know, business. It's, and, and, and who is it who's on there saying that? 
Republicans. Uh, uh, Willie Joe Namath. <laughs> oh. that's, that's sickening when Namath's doing that. Hey. Uh, Medicare is not going to answer those questions. You're going to be on the phone for two hours. No, no, it's not Medicare. It's people who are trying to sell you Medicare supplement insurance. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. You know, is, gotcha. is I got into private that five business years ago. trying okay. to piggyback mm. yeah. on yeah. Medicare. And they send you, you, if you just, if they hear something that they think might, but they might, might assume interested. to be yes, you get huge things to put on your backs and, and like armor on your clothes and everything <laughs> <laughs> that go about seven, eight hundred dollars then. Oh, you mean they send you they send medical you supplies? A huge box of these things, you know. Interesting. And you realize they're billing Medicaid for them. Well, that's the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a scam. Yeah. You don't have to fill out any papers. We'll take care yeah. of it and everything. Somebody you know. recently got caught doing something like Sprained that. Sprained your ankle, here's your power wheelchair. Yep. <laughs> Which we just got your neighbors to pay for. Oh, plastic surgeon. Plastic surgeon recently just... Um, was doing elective surgery yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and billing Medicare. So basically they would say, okay, I'm gonna do this procedure on you because I need, but I'm also gonna do this one that you want. Mm -hmm. it, just so that he could, they could, you know, commit <laughs> fraud against Medicare and Medicaid. It was just, it's appalling that people will go to such lengths to make a buck. Yeah. And make, and make the Democrats look terrible also at the same time. That's. Because they're doing these things. It's, they're not illegal, but... It doing, makes who look bad? Democrats doing what things? Uh, As nothing Republicans do with Democrats. are happy to see these stupid things. Oh, he's talking about the advertising. Advertising. That yeah, has nothing to do with Democrats. I, I'm saying that, but it's they're in effect saying, look, if they're not, they're not saying this, they're not saying that the Democrats should be calling, uh, calling up their, their uh, senators and, and people from, from the House and everybody and fighting against this. They're just doing it. The Republicans are just doing this and keep on doing it. And of course, it's going to lead to a lot of nasty stuff down the road. And they're talking about med uh, what? Uh, uh, well, did you see what, did you see what the impotus thought was an appropriate thing to announce at the, uh, you know, international big business uh, thing he was at last week. <laughs> that when he's that. reelected, he's going to cut Social Security. Yeah, oh. I'm going to just bring that yeah. up. Good, good. Nice. Good thing to tell. Yes. You know, but um, Susan, can I mention what's happened to you recently? Sure. I'm, we'd like to let you know that Susan's mother, who we have discussed at various times on mm. the show and things, has in, in fact passed away, and there will be a service on Friday. Yeah. And uh, we give you our condolences. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the funeral going to be? At Bethel in um, Jamaica Plain. In Jamaica Plain? Yeah. Oh, okay. She made it to 90. That's pretty Excellent. darn 90's, good. Yeah. 90's pretty good. 90's yeah. a good goal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had a friend who, a very good friend who just passed away, and, and he'd made it to 99. So <laughs> wow. Was, I'm aiming for 120, up. folks. So with modern technology and the way things have changed. 120. 120. You really want to Oh, to absolutely. Be because What if Trump gets reelected? Oh, good God. <laughs> I mean, I still got to make it through the next four years then, no matter what. But he says he's but, not going to leave if he gets if he gets. Uh, if he loses, he's not going to he's leave not leaving. the White House. This isn't a dictatorship. Well, you know, I, how he often He will be leaving. However, how often have I said, if he decides he's going to lose, he's going to call off the election? Oh. <laughs> I'm still... Yeah, oh, yeah. He'll, find, he'll find a way I'm to... I'm still at, to, yeah, agree. not at all Agreed. surprised if he calls, call, signs his, his Richter scale... A signature and calls it a national emergency and calls off the election. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back next week with the fun show here at Big TV. Um, we uh, wish you all a pleasant evening and a fond good night. Peace out, Goddard House.